By popular demand, today I'm here to do a tutorial on the platform by interactive brokers called The Client Portal. Now, I only just opened this account and I'm going to take you through the setup, the layout and the basics that's going to help 99% of investors out there with all that is needed. Now, don't forget to watch my review of interactive brokers to see whether you think it's the right platform for you anyway. Okay, now let's just get straight into the setup. You probably wanna choose an individual account. I think that's gonna be most suitable for most people. Now, besides that, customer service can answer any other sign-up questions you have for individual circumstances. Okay, now I'll show you around the platform and I'll also do a real live order. Okay, when logging on, you're on your laptop and you'll go to the log into the client portal. Enter your login information. You'll get all your login information when you sign up. Now here, you'll either receive an SMS or you can generate a code by clicking the click here if you did not receive a message button. Now this is a really handy tip for those who often travel is go get the app. The customer service people will help you set up a pin code for the app if you do need some help. This is the home screen on my phone. So you wanna click authenticate. Then here you enter the pin that the client rep helped you set up and the code that is on the logging on screen on your laptop. You'll get a generated number and you enter it on your laptop. You enter it where it says response stream and hey presto, you're in. So once you've logged in, you'll get to the home page that looks like this. Now let's quickly take a look at the tabs along the top first. So the first one says portfolio. Now, if you click on portfolio, well, it really just shows you at the moment, I don't have much going on in here. I've deposited some money, uh, but I haven't bought anything because this is a new account. But this is where you would see the performance of your portfolio. Now we'll go into the watch list. And in the watch list, what I have already done is I found some companies that I've wanted to put in here, which are like my tankers, Bank of America, Facebook, the things that I'm following. Now, if you want to create your own watch list or add extra instruments to just the generic watch list that's here, it's really easy. All you have to do is press on the uh, little settings icon over here. It says add edit symbols. Click on add edit, edit, edit symbols. Uh, I'm gonna add a company, let's do um, Baidu. Okay, so I just type in the name Baidu and it gives me the options of like all the, um, all the places you can buy Baidu shares throughout the world. It's just different exchanges. So the first one is the one we want, which is the NASDAQ. See, the second one is the Singapore Stock Exchange, but we want to trade on the NASDAQ. Okay, there we go. And I've added Baidu to my watch list. Now let's have a look at the markets tab. Now this isn't really interesting. It's going to tell you just daily performance of the Dow Jones Industrial Averages, the S&P, the Europe market, the Asia market, things like that. I don't even look at this, I'll be honest. And in the reports, now, if you wanna pull certain reports, so let's say you have tax coming up or I don't know, something that you wanna, if you wanna see its historical performance or anything like that, this is where you do that. So you can find some of your previous activity statements here. It's pretty easy to do. Let's say we wanted to look at activity. I can run a report, let's say for the fiscal year, okay? So I could press run and I would want to maybe change it to a PDF document and it'll download a PDF document onto my computer with all the activity for the last fiscal year. It is pretty cool. Now, the next thing we're going to go look at is the uh, drop down menu over here on the far left hand side of the screen. So click on that. This gives us sort of all of the options available to us inside of this platform. So the ones that I wanted to really show off here are uh, transfer and pay. So here is when I want to transfer funds. So I go here where I want to make a deposit. So I want to put money into the account or I want to pull money out of the account. So it's pretty simple here. If I wanted to go into one of these, it just like I've already got my bank set up here already. Um, yeah, that's where you go into deposit funds and withdraw funds in the transfer funds section. Now I go down a little bit further. The other thing I wanted to show you was the scanners. Okay. so. Now, there are better scanners out there. And if you're really interested in how I use a scanner, I don't use this one in particular. Uh, I have a specific scanner that I like to use. And if you're, if you're really interested in that, please let me know in the comments because I would love to make a video tutorial on that, but only if there's interest out there from uh, people in my audience. So if you're interested in seeing a screening uh, tutorial, please let me know. Now, this screener is, I think, too simple to use. Uh, so it says, look, I'm going to scan for US stocks. Let's just do something different and say European stocks. Um, I can filter by price range and volume. That's just daily volume. Let's say I wanted to choose it based on the, I don't know, let's do 52 week low. That'll be more interesting. Okay, run the scanner. And okay, it gave us 
it gave us 50 results. Okay, so I can go through here and have a look at everything that's in the European stock market. Um, so all the different markets over there, the London Stock Exchange, Amsterdam, Brussels, all of those. And this will show me um, everything that's reached a 52 week low in the previous week. Generally, that's what happens. So for example, company that you'll know here, I think it was HSBC I saw before. Yeah, we go, HSBC Holdings. Uh, that'll be based in London, and it obviously must be at a 52-week uh, low this week. So there we go. Maybe I'd be interested in going and investigating that a little bit further. It's, it's something. Like I said, better screening tools out there. I, I'm not going to be using this one. But if you're interested, there it is. Okay, uh, let's go a little bit further down. And the only other thing is probably support now. So... This is where you can contact, obviously, customer support if you have any questions, and I highly recommend doing that. They're, interactive brokers, when I compared it to Saxo, were really good, like it's exceptional. They were they responded with uh, within, say, 10 seconds of me contacting them um, when I wanted to chat with them. They were really good. I was really happy with their support. So use that as you need to. Now, I'm not showing you everything that this platform does. That's just silly because a lot of it is totally unnecessary or for different styles of traders. I'm a long-term value investor. So the only things that I need is to really buy and hopefully not very often sell. So let's go do that now. All right, so now I wanna press the big trade button over here on the top right hand of the screen. So let's click on that. Now I'm going to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna create a new order. Here we go. Let's create a new order. And now I'm gonna enter the symbol. Now let's do, uh, I've tried Berkshire Hathaway on here already as a demo for myself. So Berkshire Hathaway, B class shares, that's exactly what we want. All right, so there we go, it tells us the price. I've got the right Berkshire Hathaway, yep, okay. I can go check this price with Yahoo Finance just to make sure I'm getting the right uh, instrument here. So we're gonna do a buy order. There's a sell order here. So if I was to sell, if I already own shares, I would be doing exactly the same thing because I'm making a trade. I would be selling, I would choose how many I wanna sell. I would be choosing the price that I wanna sell them at. Uh, and I'd be doing pretty much exactly the same thing as I'm going to do with the buy order, but in reverse, obviously. So the quantity, okay, I wanna buy 80 shares. Yep, 80 shares, okay? I can make it US dollars if I wanted to, but I like it as shares. Now, order type. Now, it's set at limit, okay? Now, I like to use a limit order because I'm going to choose the price that I wanna buy them at. Now, there are lots of different options here. Some of these I don't even understand because they're, they're not very helpful for me at all. But uh, let me explain the ones I do know. For example, market. Now, if I was to press market order, it would just fill at whatever the price is right now. Now, because there's a bit of a delay here because we're using a, um, we're not using a day trading platform here, it's probably gonna give me some price that's happened over the last sort of 15, 20 minutes. Any price in the last 15 or 20 minutes, bam, I'm gonna get filled. So if you don't care what price it is or it's totally within your range, just press market order, that's fine. It'll get filled automatically. But I like limit order because I want to set a specific price. Now, a stop and limit, that's for selling. So let's let's not worry too much about that. Uh, market on close, limit on close. So that's whatever it finishes at the end of the day. Uh, you're going to try to make the trade at the, at, the, at the price at the end of the day. Again, that's all a bit fancy. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Let's just, just stick to limit for me. Okay, so the limit price. Now, uh, if you've seen my Berkshire Hathaway um, analysis, I've already bought Berkshire Hathaway. So I wanna buy my second order. Now I know the price is $191, but my the price that I really wanna buy uh, for my second order would be 161. So I'm thinking that sometime this year, the share prices are going to fall, the whole share market might fall over. And if it does, bam, I'm gonna pick them up at $161. That's my plan. So this price management algo, don't click this. This is a tool for our interactive brokers. It's pretty technical it's it's sort of like a market order but it's sort of like an adjusted market order Tr don't get worried too worried about it please just stick to limit orders it's so much easier okay time and force now i'm gonna i always do good till cancel because i don't want to, if i press day it's going to cancel at the end of today and that means i have to put the order in again tomorrow and time and force well at the opening that means like if this if the market wasn't open right now well, it would be fine at the opening of the market, but after the open is over, well, the, the order doesn't happen anymore. So I wanna say good to cancel because I might leave this here for six months, all right? So good to cancel, that's always, that's always what I do. This outside RTH, not necessary at all. It's, uh, it means outside regular trading hours. So uh, it's actually talking about the futures market and look, 
Again, totally a total overkill, not necessary. All right, this is all I really needed was all these things here. And I'm gonna submit by order. Let's do that. Uh, okay, it tells you if you don't know what you're doing, don't trade pretty much, uh, but I do know what I'm doing. Uh, again, it's just, it's just protecting themselves, making sure they don't make any mistakes. If they make a mistake, it's not their fault kind of thing. It's fine because we've got a limit order. That's the beauty of a limit order. Okay, order submitted, great. So now I wanna go and see my orders and trades. Okay, now I, I canceled an order earlier today just to test this out, but this one here is the one we wanna look at and it says it's submitted at the moment. So that's processing at the moment and eventually it will become uh, like a live order and when the price gets to $161, well, good news for us. All right, so what I thought would be interesting is let's do a trade like right now and actually not just like put an order in, let's actually make a, a market trade. So I'm gonna go to my watch list because I want to buy TK Tankers and DHT. I'm gonna buy more of these. Now, I've already got a pretty big parcel of these already, but well, I'm gonna buy some more because I think uh, I think they're gonna be, they're still under my buy prices and I think that's, um, that's something that I wanna put more money into. So here we go. TK tankers, let's do them first. We're gonna press the trade button. Okay, now, yep, great. Okay, I, I wanna do a buy order. Now, I'm gonna do this time in US dollars just to show you how this works. I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna buy $15,000 worth. Okay, now the order type is going to be a market order. Now, this is not what I normally do. I normally put in a limit order at, and, I, and so I'd put a limit order in and I'd choose the specific price I want. But just so you can see how a trade actually works, I'm gonna do a market order. Okay, $15,000 worth, it's gonna give me nearly a thousand shares, uh, that's fine. Okay, time in force, let's just do good deal cancelled. Here we go, let's buy $15,000 worth right now. All right, so it gives me a little prompt here. Uh, following size exceeds the size limit of 500. Are you sure you want to submit this order? All right, so now I've got to this point where it says order submitted. There you can see it there, uh, order submitted. So let's now go see what actually happened in my orders and trades. Uh, okay, now let me just move my screen over a little bit so you can see a bit better what's happened. Uh, okay, so as we can see, we got TNK here. Uh, now I've got filled in a few different parcels here, uh, just because obviously someone was selling them to me, uh, but they didn't want to sell me, you know, the thousand that I wanted to buy. They someone only had six hundred, and someone only had one hundred ninety six, and so anyway, and, and someone only had one. So I got them. It looks like fifteen oh four. That's about what the price is at the moment. Let me have a quick look at Yahoo Finance. Well, it's fifteen oh five right now, but you know, that's give or take about 15, 20 minutes. So don't get too stressed about if this price is out by a few cents, it's, it's pretty normal. It's just a bit of a delay. So generally you just wanna be close. And it says it's been filled. Yep, okay, cool. All right, looks like I've bought a fair few of them. Now let's go see my portfolio. Uh, okay, and it looks like it's worked. So if I go into, as you can see, here's my portfolio. Now, and I have a position in uh, TK Tankers. So, yep, I have 997 shares, which is about what I was expecting to buy. And there we go. I just purchased them right then and there. Let's go do DHT quickly as well, um, just because, well, why not? Here we go, DHT. I'll just move this a little bit so everyone can see. All right, buy order. Okay, I'll do another, I'll do 15,000 of them as well. Buy order, all right, good. Let's do a market order again. Now, I'd, again, try to do limit orders if you can, but I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. Good till canceled. Submit, order has been submitted. Great, let's go to my orders. Let's go to my portfolio. Let's have a look what happened. There we have, we got a DHT, it's already, it, it just goes through like automatically, just like that. So that's all you have to do um, to make a trade. I just bought $30,000 worth of the tankers just right then and that's how fast and easy it was. So now you're gonna ask me how to sell something and uh, look, this is, this is gonna cost me some money to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to sell something. All right, so let's make a trade. Let's do, uh, sorry, let's go back to my watch list. Let's sell one of my uh, TK Tanker shares, just one, because I don't want to sell 
Obviously, I just bought them. Let's do a sell order. Here we go. Quantity. See if I can sell one share. All right. We'll do a market sell. Time in force. Good deal cancelled. All right. Look, as I'm doing, I'm just doing everything in reverse. Submit the sell order. Just make sure I only want one because I just bought $15,000 worth. I don't want to sell them all. All right. Submit the sell order. All right. Cool. That looks like it's happened. And if I go now to my portfolio, or I can go to my orders and trades here as well. There you go. It shows me that something got sold. TK Tankers sold at 15.03. One share, it was filled. Great. Okay, so in my portfolio now, I should have one less. We had, it was 997 before, now it's 996. And there you go. So that's buying and selling in real life. I hope you appreciated that a lot because I just wasted a bit of money in fees then um, just for that demonstration. But uh, I'm happy to buy these because they're in, they're in my buy range. So um, I'm happy to do this demonstration for these guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can ask me, but probably it's easier to ask the customer support of interactive brokers. But I will help you as well if you leave a comment below. Now, remember to choose a platform that you can trust. Hit that like button for me if you made it to the end and I will see you in the next video.